Mm -hmm. Hey, how's it going today? Well, starting out today. First call of the day. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's going. Uh, Get, in Get in there. We want to show you something. So, you don't even have to show me. I already know. Okay. So, from from last night? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know what it's already stemming from? I'm just going to be, I will just be flat out honest with you guys. You need to get rid of your internet. And this is going well, to... Well, then how do I pay my bills? Well, I, I get that. Else. So, the other part of the thing is, you need to, okay, fine. You need to get rid of his computer. That this is that is going to be the only way that all of this shit stops and you guys will be peaceful. Well, can I ask a question? Yeah, absolutely. You know, absolutely. No. If it was your friendly, what would you do? Well, this is, I one hundred percent I would handle business. Okay. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not his dad. I'm her, um, her boyfriend. Okay, and I get that. So then and he is 34 years old. Okay. Well, then he needs to go. Because, Sally, how many times have we, as a collective, been out here going over the same stuff every single day? And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about the alarms and all that, but it, over the same thing. Because we're, and for, let me, we'll go back from, from last night with the original call, with the everything. They put it as a check and patrol to keep an eye out on your house. That's why they didn't send anybody out last night. Okay. Well, we didn't need that until the 21st. Right. Well, yeah. So, that's why they put it out as why nobody mm -hmm. came out for you yesterday or last well, night. Well, you know, too, last, last week now, we didn't call you guys, but yeah. there's a big red, big red paint or whatever it is on the roof. Okay. And now, they took, I handed the cop yesterday Okay. the, uh, the way to it, you know what he did with it? Hmm. Gave it back. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's it's glass uh -huh. that's in the yard that could fly up and hit anybody, and then okay. we can be responsible for that. Am I right? Well, he probably just gave it back to you to throw it away because I mean, it, we're this we're not going to be able to do anything with it. So we'll just document it, and then you guys can dispose of it. That's probably what that was for. But I don't know. I wasn't here yesterday, right. so I couldn't tell you. But that's typically. So we don't need it. All, right. All we just need to do is like see what was going on, what was it, and then you guys can take care of it from there. Right. We won't need it for anything. Well, no, every time you guys come out here, we, you say you want this. Well, so, you, depending so, on what that what it okay. is, we can okay. do with it what we need. You're yeah. saying we we never had an address for this guy. For what? Who? The person that's doing this. Okay. I now have his parents' address. Parents' address. And they, I'm sure they could give it to you guys. Okay. So what? So what's going on today? He said they're on the 21st. They're just throw Molotov cocktail at the porch. Okay. So who is who is this text from? We don't know. Okay. He's he's about. Somebody that's been helping us all along, but he just doesn't want his name put out there, so that... Okay, so you got a text from somebody. He says, he's got his address. Um, he, this, or the links where they, they talk about it, they're laughing about it, they're planning. Yeah, they're like, this is um, like chat rooms and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. But there's, this, this is a chat room that they, no, not just anybody can get well, into. Well, well... There's um, different ones. I mean, there's it's there, all over the internet. There are other like they people. Have pages for chance. But I don't know if you're aware of it. No, I don't. I don't get on. Okay. Well, I mean, they have. I'm, I'm computer dumb. Like they've got. I'll be honest with you. Like they have. They put it over like the the guy that does like the National Discovery, like the BBC guy. Mm -hmm. They have they have like a half hour special on chance. Like. They have all these things, and they have like body camera footage from that like of different times like we've been out here and all these different things like it's a cult following of chance waiting to see what he does next and he just keeps posting and posting and posting dumb shit and they're waiting for it 
So we're getting calls from people from out of state. Like we got we got one from last night from like a uh, 447 area code. Well, that can be anywhere. It can be anywhere. They're wanting welfare checked on chance because they're worried about him because he's doing and you we are up front like what's he doing today we got another one about chance i mean i'm honest with you when i come out here right. it's chance again right well and it's, it's like yesterday i come walking out yeah. here i lit a cigarette huh? I turn around here they come and i just and i just looked at them and i started laughing i mean it's because it's it's never ending because people will go on because they're they are waiting to see the new post from Chance. Well, you know, this is this is something that you know yeah, could and actually. This is, and this is something for sure. This is something completely different. Absolutely. Um. So. Because I'm I'm ready to. I got a paintball gun in there. I'm ready to go well, throw. I'm, yeah, I, I get you. You know, I'm, I'm ready to go throw ten of them in the freezer and then have ten of them out. Yeah. You, you know, I'm, I'm done with it. Is yeah, that, and I and I. 100% agree with your guys' frustration over the situation. Seven years, dude. I, oh, Seven. I know. I mean, I mean, come on. How I, much? How much can you take? Exactly, and that is kind of the point that we're at with you guys. Is how much are you guys? I mean, you guys have to sit down with him and go, look, man. He you, doesn't sit down. He gets up and runs the stomps off. Yeah, yeah. Now, but now there's there, going to be a point now, where... Now, there was a time that he wasn't on it. Yeah. And the, and the same shit happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's never so, it doesn't me. matter if we get him off the internet he, or not. They're still doing it. Still yeah. But he's... he's Some of his posts are getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> I, I mean... I don't doubt it. I mean... Well, yeah. So it's going to get to a point where if it gets to a... If he's going to say or threaten or get to a point where he's going to do things that are a little bit over the top, he may get arrested. Well, he's, okay. he's never going to leave the house. Well, I understand that, but he's if he's going to do certain things, like he's getting close to showing things that he should be showing on the Internet, and then he's going to be done, and we, we'll... And you won't be able to help him because he's getting close on some of these posts. Okay, so I, I will just leave it at that, and I you don't have to imagine what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, I, I know, I know what you're trying. Okay, to say. so as soon as that happens, he's done. Well, you and, know, too. I mean, he's done there, but what about the uh, damage? Damage to the house? Damage to the roof? Damage yeah. to the car. Give me one second. This is one of the detectives. All right. So I'm going to see what's going on. Well, they've, they've already tried to break into the garage. Okay. They've, they've already tore down our fence that was out there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's damage, you know? Yeah. Stolen stuff off of the porch. Yeah, and that's. And then they went over to Linda. Lee's house is stolen. Her, her mother's her mother's swing. porch swing. And mm -hmm. her mom's dead. Yeah. So you know how you would feel about. Yeah, that. right. And there's and there's all mm -hmm. that, and that's won't have to deal with, and that's somebody else's issue, unfortunately, not your guys's. Right. And, and going through there, but I mean, it. I can see where it's stemming and, and going from all that. But then going through with it and it kind of adding to it and, and well, two, I mean, yeah. two here, here. Here's another thing, you know. Mm -hmm. They they shot a gun through his window. Yeah. Nobody ever did nothing well, about that. Yeah. No, that was wrong. Somebody should have did something. You're right. And there and what if he would have got and killed? I, and I can't go off of what has the the right. prior stuff. I can only go off of what I'm able to kind of help you guys out with and and go through there because I don't know what was done and then what led through because if there's not so like the a shot into the house they do the they only get the what they have and then pass it forward because that stuff goes on the front line with us 
we we call what we have, we see what we take the pictures and collect that get that information, and then pass it forward to detectives, and then whatever line, whatever leads they have, they go through, and then if it if it runs out, it runs out, and it kind of just goes to there. Um, so that's and that's our trail, and then from there we do what we can, right. and we pass it. To where right. it needs to go now, and then it's kind of unfortunately it's out of our hands right and it, it's for the next case and i and unfortunately i can't tell you what happens for it right. well, after we do our you, initial now don't you think that somebody should have came and got the bullet out of the bed that it and like i said we i don't pull that stuff okay. through there that would it, be the, the detective right that that would be like crime if it can be found and, and doing all that yeah that would be the next steps, depending on right. all that. I mean, you know, I'm, not, I'm not saying. Yeah, and I and I get the frustration. I, I I totally do. And like I said, there's you know I, I can't go off of the, the past and all that. Right. I can only go off of what kind of what the, what the experiences and and kind of going through there. Um, Sally, can I can we look through kind of what's been like how. Um, the text message you got from this uh, anonymous person that you got for the 21st. Where'd it go? Where are we at here? What's the heck? Then, oh, you know, okay, there we go. she called and then I turned around and mm -hmm. I called last night. If, do you mind if I scroll through? To, Not at all. Okay. And the, and the dispatcher said, well, the cops are out eating donuts, and got it. I swear to God, that's what she said. She yeah. said that you guys were out eating donuts and doing your rounds around. And don't think that I, I wish I had the break to be able to do that. No, she said too. I wouldn't wait up for it. Really? <laughs> yeah. Now come on. What time was that? That was it. 3.30 this morning? Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll have to pass that along to our radio room sergeant then. Because that's, I mean, she, that's she inappropriate. She shouldn't have been like that. No, you know? that's inappropriate. And I apologize, well, I apologize that a call taker was talking like that. And I mean, that's... Okay, 721 Mart. Do you know who Marty is? Who's Marty? Marty, Marty. is the one, the one that's doing all... But they're going back and forth. Him and yes. Chance are going back and forth yes. online? Yes. Okay. Then who's Nicholas? That's Marty's real name. Okay. And then there's Nick, uh, Nicholas that's his father and a Wendy that's his mother. I mean, you know, we don't... Uh, Just frustrating with everything else that's going on. On top. I think Marty's wanting to buy this house. Oh, really? Yeah. Why? Because he's demented. One guy, so this guess, is from Illinois. So they live out in Illinois. Mm -hmm. So this guy's gonna come from Illinois. No, he's to, probably gonna pay somebody to do it. Okay. Yeah, that he he paid somebody to, put, to do the paint thing on the roof. And the landlord don't even know about the paint yet. So. I mean, really, I shouldn't be saying anything. You're fine. But I feel we should do something to protect ourselves. Yeah, no, and I 100%. So this... Here's a screenshot. So why is he sending you screenshots of the other person he got? Why not send the screenshots of the person this... I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But that's why I'm trying to... Well, there's two of them. There's Marty and then there's the other one. What's the other one's name? Um, 
Murray Hall. Yeah, William Murray, Murray Hall. Hall. That's them two talking. Yeah. No, that ain't them two talking. Where, where's that one where they talking back and forth? I don't know. Yeah, so the... the So, right. I mean, I wouldn't want your guys' job for the world. Yeah. <laughs> your guys' is the fire department and the um, um, so the EMT guys. So right now. <laughs> That's three jobs I, would, I wouldn't want. I get it. So right now, and this is the thing that's so odd, is that he's sending you using your content without permission. I mean, anybody can do that. That's not your content. That's chance of stuff. Well, but they they only have, the only they do is... Chance uh, tried to get that stuff, and Chance couldn't get that stuff because they had a block on Yeah, so I mean, that's, that's an issue with online stuff that he'd have to do that's not anything he's been trying to deal with that's not an issue with me that's a, a once it's out on the internet that's on the internet he'd have to go through the internet people the internet police or whatever right that stuff to be able to get his stuff back so that's not anything that I can help him with right. um, but going Going back to this, part of the issue is that he's like, so they sent the address of, he sent the address of the dad's office, which really doesn't matter. Um, then he, then he's sending about this other guy that he took down, which doesn't do anything to help you out. And then he sent this other stuff that isn't doing anything also, it's not making any type of threats, any type, anything at all. It's just saying like, "Hey, when's his next post coming? I want to watch." Basically, like I would told you from the beginning, is that there is a cult following, waiting for chance to put something up because they love to watch it, and then just make fun of him and like I like this. Yeah, your med. yeah, your meds. Yeah, that's all they're saying. It's just like your meds. Um, and the, like I said, there's a cult following. They love to do that, and then they just love to go on and make fun of him constantly. Like I said, they, they, it just says they just want to watch. How do you they throw your own kid that you know couldn't make, you make it out on the streets? Out. Well, you won't know. Because he's not all there. You know well, that. yeah, but you know what? There's also like group homes and things like that. Um, to try to get him there, but he also needs to like, go and try to get, I mean, medications and like caseworkers and get mental health assistance. But he has to be able to do that. And being a recluse, staying inside, is not going to be good for him. Right. Well, I mean, that's pretty much all it does. Right. And so obviously, what he's doing is not good for him, and it's 100% not good for you guys. Yeah, well, it's stressing us up. Right, and so, and I'm I'm trying, I'm, and I'm not even doing it as a police officer. I'm trying to do it as like, as a parent, as a, a community member, as just a neighbor, as a as a friend for you guys. Is that you guys have to get to the point where your health is more important, okay? Because I don't want to see you guys get to the point where the stress, the anxiety, everything wears you guys down and you guys have a mental, uh, not, a, not even a mental health, but, but like a serious health issue, stroke, heart attack. Right anything like that and you guys god forbid collapse break down and something seriously happens to you because of all this unwanted stress you know and 
health declining because of all this unwanted, unnecessary happening. And, and I hate for that to happen to you guys. I know in the heart of hearts you guys are trying your best and just wanting to be left alone. I, I truly believe that. And I, and I know, and you guys have been nothing but great. And all every time I've come out here talking with you guys and understanding, and that's why I've, I've tried and been nothing but just having great talks with you guys and just been super cool and super relaxed with you guys right and conversations that the few times I've talked to Chance have not been that because he does it to himself he, he does and and if you go on and look I mean you have your phone and you just pull it up and you type his name in it just pours out like they they have clothing line. I mean... I know. I have a t-shirt of his. Yeah. They've, that somebody sent me. Yeah. They've made... They've made puppets. They've made... I mean... It is... It is... You know, like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. How that's like a cult following of right. like... And it's not really like good. It's kind of dumb. But people are obsessed with it, and they go everywhere when that thing plays. And it's what is that the yeah. '70s? Yeah. yeah. And they people still dress was, up and I, go I, to I, it. I was a server. Yeah. Waitress, and I I served their group when they came in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it. Right. It still gets crazy when that when they play it at the theaters. Yeah. Right, and it yeah. shuts it down. That's chance with everything. I mean. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll document this stuff to kind of see what if his name's Nicholas in there, but, and we'll keep it, and we'll keep you guys an eye out on the house as always. Um, Appreciate it. and I mean, having the camera up is going to help you as well. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's coming down. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. Yes, we're having problems with the, with the company. Yeah. And I know that, especially with the alarms going off. Oh, well, yeah. I, I went know. off on the last night. <laughs> yeah. Two hours on the phone with the higher-ups. <laughs> he finally had to hang up on me. He couldn't take it no more. They said that, that they had to review her not wanting it no more. And I told them, I said, look. <laughs> this is not our problem. Well, we, this we, is your guys' problem. When we got you, it, we were told that we had... A month to decide whether we liked it or not, and they would take it down. Mm -hmm. Well, here's, well, here's the month, and they're here for it. They set up an appointment with us. Mm -hmm. They never showed up. They set up another appointment with us. Between the hours of eight and five, right? they they didn't show up either. Mm -hmm. So you know, I mean, by all rights, well, we got to go through this. I said, no, yeah. no, we don't. It took, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. I told him, I said, you know, by law, if I ask you to speak to your supervisor, you have to give me your supervisor. I mean, it was... I'll hand you that back, I'll hand you that back Sally. Thank you. It was... It was <laughs> yeah, I get it. So let me... I'm sorry. Just for... Shits and giggles. Just for you. You know, they didn't even set the damn thing up right anyway. One of the sensors that they put in the door, they drilled the hole too big. So the sensor didn't stay in the hole. Yeah. <laughs> what good is that? So, this is just in my phone. Okay. I type his name in. Okay. And this is... I'll just type it in. So we'll do that. And we'll type in the... Type of stuff in, okay. I mean, he just goes through, and he just he's, he's going through there. I mean, he's going all of this stuff. Um, we'll go through his. I mean, and then they have like shirts, and I just type his stuff in, okay. And then he just like you can find stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Like I said, 
there's a following. Right. And they, you go down the rabbit hole. Like, that's not even the, that's just the regular Google. Like, I didn't go to the pictures. Right. The video section. That's just, I put his name in. So, it's, so those are those situations that ultimately you guys have to decide. What well, is going to, Sally has to decide. But she is my been, input. Yeah, here. but you've been living here right. long enough to kind of help as an outside looking in. Okay, put it, even put it like that of the wear and tear that's been going on. Okay. And, and seeing this from an outsider looking at Right. And even go that route with it. And kind of how it's affecting everyone. And you can even see like how it's affecting Chance from everything. Because you know he's just going to brush it off like no big deal. And he's going to stay in his tower. And that's fine. But even you, Sally, can say and try to just push it this way. Is that, look, something has to change. Either you need to start going out to talk to somebody because the internet people to talk to is not the option. Um, yeah, is he, you don't want to talk to Well, him. is he on medication? No. Well, maybe getting him down to talk to somebody else. Trying to get him on meds. We had him appoint uh, at 4 each path, but he, he, won't, he, he wouldn't go to it. Okay. But, so that's part of the problem, too. I mean, you know, he's over 18. He's an adult. Yeah. But, and you can't make him go. Well. I mean, you know, I mean, when I first moved in here, me and him went around and around mm -hmm. about the way he was talking about her. Yeah. You know? Like, and he, so he never leaves the house for anything. Nope. Never get him outside for nope. anything. The first time in a long time, I got him to go two weeks ago to the doctors. Okay. And that was it. He's back up in his room. He does not Where'd go you get out. him to the doctor for? His skin problem. Okay. And we have we got the butt, you know, his trunk cleared up. We're still working on the one on ones on his head. Okay. He's got uh, exem ex eczema. Yeah, eczema. Okay. That's dermatitis. Yeah. That's on. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's because he doesn't go outside. He doesn't see the daylight. So well, that's part of it too. There's, there's not, there's no cure for it. To tell you. Yeah. Well, eczema is not. It's just dry skin and like severity of it. Yeah. But you can even like look. You need to, and you can even tell them like the doctor called, and like hey, you need to start getting some sunlight, vitamin D, or vitamin K, and just like you need sunlight. So like every so often you need to come outside. It's gonna be a fight. Well, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a fight. And then. He like, starts yelling at her, and yeah. then he get they get me riled up, and then you know, yeah. I gotta I gotta stick with her, yeah. you know. But then, so he needs to start doing that. But then eventually, it's gonna be the point where like you know what, I can't do this anymore. You need to start. You need to spread out and go on your own. Find an apartment because I mean he's getting what social security disability. No, no. He gets nothing. He gets, he gets nothing. nothing. He gets food stamps. Food stamps. Well, Sally, cut him off. Cut him off. He needs to start paying his own oh, then. He's 34. Mm -hmm. He needs to start paying rent. That's what I've been telling him all he these years. To, he, he needs to start paying rent. He doesn't want to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then evict him out of here. Send him on his own. Don't you have to go through the court system? To... Yep. Go down and evict him. Give him his 30 days. You don't want to do that. You need to start paying me rent. Well, I don't have money. Okay. But guess what? You have all these computers, you have all this technology stuff, you can start selling that off. Start paying me rent. <laughs> then, well, I don't want to do that. Okay, here's your 30-day eviction notice. You got 30 days. After 30 days, you will be removed. And you'll be on your own. Unless you want to start doing support services, going to the doctor, going to mental health services. Now, that's and all that's 30, just, now, 30 so, days is it? Let yeah, it's a 30-day eviction. That's the most. After 30 days, then the courts can, then uh, officers can physically remove him from the property. So they did do a three-day notice, like, hey, just be aware, I'm going to be serving you. They have to do a seven-day. But then you go up, 
you have to pay to do the eviction because you have to process it and everything at the courts. Right. The 30 days, the official, you have to serve him in person, right. which he's not going anywhere, so it'll be easily be served. Well, Here's your eviction. Well, this too, now you gotta yeah. put this in progress too. Right now, I'm not working. That's okay. Yeah. I mean, so, so, so it's all, everything's yeah. all on her. Yeah. So, and so that'll be kind of those type of things that. Because I got surgery. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. Fusion? Yeah. From, yeah. from uh, C2 to T2. Ooh. Get plates? Get a yeah, titanium? Got, yeah, well, my fingers were going numb from yeah. here to here. Okay. So those are, so Sally, those would be those things that you kind of work at that with system. Okay. And maybe that'll start, you need to start paying rent. Oh, I don't want to pay rent. I don't have money. Start selling your computer stuff because that's, if he has mm -hmm. all the gamer stuff, that's expensive stuff. Right? I mean, if you paid for it, then you know that's expensive. Go in that route. If that's, then we're going to start evicting. Um, and then you can start working it that way. Ultimately, well, if you don't want to do that, then you want to stay. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so then you start doing those type of things. Maybe start working it. Okay, well, what do I need to do? You know what? You need to start going to therapy. Start going, taking medication. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, then he, I'm going to serve you an eviction. And start giving him ultimatums. You can choose. I'll let you choose what you want to do. Well, then, too, you got to hear the, all the yelling and screaming. If you guys get into an argument and get into these verbal fights, that's what we're for. We'll come in and start talking and doing this stuff. And it's going to be the same conversation that we're going to do and advise you like you need to do this and if you can't take these arguments carrying on doing all that stuff then he wants to bitch and moan and about that stuff then it's time for him to go and do that paperwork so the i unfortunately sally i think it's you're at your crossroads with him and i know he's your boy and everything but i think ultimately your well-being is going to be number one because you won't be able to take care of him if you can't if you're not going to be around ultimately and you don't want to have i don't know what your health is like but mine thought my health is fine okay you know she's 73 years old uh, I, hey don't push it i, I wouldn't have <laughs> Only 72. okay i never would have thought that so but ultimately you know one ill happened issue will will change that. And I I don't want that for you guys. So I mean I will put everything in for you as far as this stuff goes. We'll keep you um around there, especially the weekend. So I think twenty first is it's this Sunday. week is Sunday. So we're we I'm working um this weekend, so we'll be around um for sure. We'll we'll keep an eye on your place. I don't think there. that there's a cop that hasn't been here. <laughs> Why? Well, there's not. I mean, and we're we regularly work the area, so definitely around. Like I said, this is first stop on my day. So I'll, I'm here till nine. I'll be around. Okay. Um, anything else? And if you have any more issues or anything like that, call any more texts or anything like that. Um, give us a call and any issues with chance or anything call we'll be around okay okay right. hopefully that kind of answers everything any other issues questions anything i can try to help you out with um, before i head out unfortunately you can't okay tell me how it's gonna hurt it dog. sucks it does it's not pleasant i adopted him as a baby yeah but my my thinking is he's he's in his nest in the tree but sometimes those baby birds have got to fly. Um, he's he's not an ostrich. He's not a penguin. He's a bird, and he's he's it's time for him to learn to fly. Um, so maybe it's some times to spread his wings. Okay, um, but keeping him and letting him stay up up there ultimately is 
causing more harm than good. Because he can't fend for himself. And he has to be able to start being able to do things on his own. Because, unfortunately, he doesn't know how to interact with anybody. And I think that is what's kind of hurting a lot of this situation. And I think if he can start talking to people face to face and kind of going through a lot of this and handling some of his mental health issues, I think you'll see a change. And I think that change will be good for him and for you guys. But until that happens, unfortunately, this is going to continue. And it'll only get worse until something something drastic happens or someone gets hurt and I don't want it to be you guys and I don't want something to where you guys hurt someone and then your world changes because like I said you guys are great people and I don't want something defending you guys because of something chance is doing affect your guys' livelihood and your guys' lives because of something the choices that he's making affecting you guys right so that's I know it's rough and I'm not trying to upset you and, and hurt you Sally I'm not I'm just trying to give you guys these options and, and help you the best way that I can by laying everything out option wise and kind of giving you what's been going on and what's kind of out there that if you guys aren't aware of and kind of why all this is happening the why mostly that this is happening because there is a why um so all right guys all right well, i hope you guys do have a better day with everything and like i said I'll, i will be around if you guys need anything else whatsoever please give me a call Okay? Alright guys, have a good one. Take care.